Hello everyone, this is part 12 of my Call of Duty Ghost Minecraft Pixel Art tutorial remake. So let's start off by heading down here to the somewhat center of the pixel art, all the way down here where it's clustered with horses and sheep. Uh, we're going to start from these nine black wools going across, and for this we're going to be needing the gray wool, and that's about it for now. Just the gray wool. So with the gray wool, let's pick it up. We're going to start on the right side, the right side of the nine black holes going across, starting from there. You're going to place four blocks going across to the left, so that's one, two, three, four. And now one block going diagonal up to the left, that's one. Now starting on top of this one block, you're going to place three blocks going across to the left, that's one, two, three. And now place a linked three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this so far. And place one block going diagonal up to the left. That's one. Now you're going to switch to the stone block. So let's switch over to the stone block. And starting on the left side of this gray wool, you're going to place two blocks going up. So that's one and two. And now place a linked two blocks going up on the left side. So that's one and two. So it should look like this. Now you're going to switch over to the gray wool again. Now starting on the right side of this stone block, so from there, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right that's one two and three now one block going diagonal down to the right that's one and now two blocks going across on the upper level to the right one two and now place one block underneath the right block of the two blocks going across so place one there now starting from the right block again of the two blocks going across, so from there, you're going to place six blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Six blocks across. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's fly over and get rid of that. Now let's go back to these three blocks going across. So going back to these three blocks, starting from the right block of these three blocks, so from that block, place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Five blocks. It's one, two, three, four, five. And now place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. That's one and two. Now starting on top of this gray wool, so starting from there, place two blocks going across to the left. That's one, and two. And now place three blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two, three. And now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one, two. Switch over to the stone block, starting on top of the left block of the two blocks, so starting from there, you're going to place three blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now let's switch back over to the gray wool, going down and to the right a bit. I want you to find these three gray wools here that are below the stone blocks that we just placed. So finding these three gray wools, starting from the right block, you're just going to place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. So let's switch over to the light gray wool for now. 
and switching over to the light gray wool, this small space here that we just made, you're going to fill this in, and you're going to fill in the space down here to the right with light gray wool, so it looks like this. Now we're going to move down here, and we're going to find these three gray wools and this one gray wool. Now starting in between it, this empty space, you're going to place two gray wool, light gray wools going down. Two light gray, so that's one and two. And then fill this one space here with the light gray wool. So it looks like that. Now we're going to switch over to the gravel. Now with the gravel, we're going to fill in this empty space here, along with this empty space here with gravel, so let's do that. Let's fill those two empty spaces with gravel, so it looks like this. Now let's switch back to the stone block. Now with the stone, we're going to move up here and fill in this empty space here with stone. So fill this in. So it looks like this. Okay, so now we're going to be switching over to the gray wool, so let's switch back to the gray wool, and let's go back up here, going back to these two blocks going across, so uh, it's from the four gray wools going across, so find these four, go to the right, and you have these two. Now starting from the right block of these two blocks going across, so from that block, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right, that's one and two. And now we're going to go back over here and starting from these four black wools, starting on the right side of them, so starting from there, place five gray wools going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to move down here back again to these two gray wools. This time starting from the left side, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. And that's one. And it should look like this so far. Now we're going to be going over here again, going back to these three stone blocks going across that's in between the two gray wool and the four black wool. Starting from the left side of the stone block here, so just align yourself with this. You're just going to move straight up and starting on top of this black wool, you're just going to place one gray wool. So it looks like this, just aligned with it. Switch over to the stone block and fill in this empty space here with stone. Now on the right side of this gray wool, you're going to place five stone blocks going across to the right. That's one, two, three, four, five. And it should look like this so far. So now we're going to be switching to the gray wool, and with the gray wool we're going to move to the left and down just a bit, and I want you to find this one black wool that's making contact with these three black wools going up. So starting on top of and next to this black wool, so starting from there, okay, you're going to place seven gray wools going up. Seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven gray wools. Now switch back to the stone block. Now with the stone block, you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the stone. So let's fill this in with stone now. And it should look like this. Now we're going to switch back to the gray wool, and let's go back up here to these two black wools going across that made contact with the seven gray wools that we placed, starting from the left side of the two black wools here. So from that block, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. Let's get rid of those. And now you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the gray wool, staying within the black wool and gray wool outline. So do that now. And it should look like this when you're done filling it in. So now we're going to move back over here, going back to this area where we had a bunch of gray wools going every which way. Let's go back to the five gray wools going across that started from the four black wools going across, this time starting from the right block of the five gray wools. So starting from there, you're going to place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Four blocks. That's one, two, three, four. 
And now place one gray wool on top of the left block of the four blocks across. So place one there. Now starting underneath the right block of the four gray wools going across, place one gray wool. So place one there underneath the right block. Again, starting from the right block this time, so from there, place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. It's one, two. Now remember, if it's going a little too fast for you, make sure to pause the video so you can keep up. Now, place a linked three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. A linked. So that's one, two, three. And now starting from the left block of the linked three blocks, so from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. So that's one. Now starting from the right block of the three linked blocks, so from there, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now starting underneath the left block of the two blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. So that's one and two. And now place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And it should look exactly like this so far. Go ahead and pause the video now if you need to, just to compare. So now what we're going to be doing is switching to the stone block. And with the stone block, we're going to move all the way up here in this section. And I want you to find these two empty spaces here that are going diagonal up to the right. So you're going to fill in these two empty spaces here with the stone block. Fill this in. And from here, we're just going to move down. And you're going to fill in this space here with stone. So fill this in. And then we're going to move down again. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with stone. So fill this in. So it should look like that. Now we're going to move to the right. And you're going to fill in this empty space here with this stone block. So fill this in with stone. And once you've done that, we're going to move to the left again and down. And you're going to find this space here. You're going to fill this in with the stone block. So fill this space here with stone. So it looks like this. So now that we have those spaces filled in, what you're going to do next is switch over to the light gray wool. Now, with the light gray wool, you're going to be filling in this, this area, all of this. You're going to be filling in the remaining empty spaces here with light gray wool. And once you've done that, switch over to the black wool, because this is going to be a time-lapse part. You're going to move down here, and you're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wool, staying within the black wool outline, and I guess the ground outline. You're going to fill in this space here with black wool, and above it, everything here, all these empty spaces here, get filled in with the light gray wool. So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone block, we're going to move up here uh, to this empty area. And with the stone, we're going to go over here to where we had this space filled in with gray wool. Find this one black wool. Now, starting on the left side of this one black wool with the stone, you're going to place two blocks going up. That's one, two. And then place one stone block underneath the black wool. So place one there. Now switch over to the gray wool, starting on top of the stone block, of the two stone blocks going up. So from there, place three gray wools going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now starting from the left block of the three blocks going across, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left. So that's one. 
And now from here, we're just going to move over to the left and starting underneath the left block of these three black wolves. So from there, place two gray wolves going across to the right. That's one, two. And then place one gray wolf on top of this one black wolf. So that's one. And starting on the right side of this black wolf, you're just going to place two gray wolves going across to the right. That's one, two. So it should look like this. Now we're going to switch over to the gravel. Now with the gravel, you're going to fill in this space, this space, and this space here with gravel. So fill in those three empty spaces with gravel. So it should look like this. So now that we have that, we're going to switch over to the stone block again. And we're just going to double check to see if we closed off this area. And we did. So you're going to fill in two spaces with the stone block. First space you're going to fill in is this single space here with stone block. And then move down here and fill in this single space here with stone block. So let's do that now. We don't have to time lapse because it's not a large space. So let's fill in these two empty spaces. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. Now let's switch over to the, uh, let's see, yes, the gray wool. And we're going to move over here to this empty space here, this one right here. You're just going to fill this in with the gray wool. Let's fill this in. So it looks like that. Now let's move over to the right just to show you that these two empty spaces here, they stay empty throughout the whole tutorial. This will stay empty until the very end. This does not get filled in with anything. These are just two empty spaces. Similar to, let's say, if I did something like that. You see that empty space there? And you see this empty space here? This never got filled in with anything. That's going to be the same thing. That stays empty throughout the entire thing. So, let's go back over here. And let's see what we're going to work on next. Let's go to this kind of weird H-looking thing here. So we're going to switch over to the gray wool and fill in this empty space here that looks like an H with gray wool. Let's fill this in. Now let's move up here and fill in this space here with gray wool. So it looks like this so far. Now we're going to move up here and fill in this space here with gray wool. So fill this in. And we're going to move up here and fill in this space here with gray wool. And then continue on upwards. Let's see. Fill in this space here with gray wool. Nothing but gray wool. So there you go. That's gray wool, gray wool, gray wool. Now we're going to switch over to the stone block. And fill in this space here with stone. Fill this in. Move up here. Fill in this space here with stone. It should look like this. Now let's switch over to the gray wool. Now that we're up here, we're going to move to the left a bit from this area that we just filled in with the stone. And find these two black wools going across, making contact with this one gray wool. Now, we're going to start on top of the right block of the two uh, black wolves going across so starting from there as you can see starting from there you're going to place four blocks going diagonal up to the left diagonal diagonal up to the left so that's one two three four get rid of those Now, starting on top of this gray wool and next to this black wool, you're going to place four gray wools going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four. And now we're going to start from the left block and move a block into the right. So this is just going to be one block into the right. So we're going to start from there underneath this gray wool. You're going to place two blocks going down. That's one, two. Then place three blocks going down on the left side. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to fill in this empty space here, staying within the outline with gray wool. So fill this in. 
Next, you're going to switch over to the stone block. Now with the stone, you're going to fill in these four empty spaces here with stone. This is one, two, three, and four. Just fill in those four empty spaces with stone. So it looks like that. Now switch over to the gray wool again, and let's move down here and fill in this space here with the gray wool. So it looks like this. Now let's go back up here to this space that we just filled in with, this kind of large space that we filled in with gray wool. We're going to start with switching to the light gray wool. So let's switch to the light gray wool. Okay, so let's see. No, we're not going to switch to the light gray wool. Not yet. We're, we'll use that for the filling in part. We're actually going to switch to the gray wool. We're going to stay with gray wool, and we're going to move to this area here. We're going to move down here to this one black wool. You're just going to place one gray wool on each side. So one on the right side and one on the left side. Now, starting on top of this black wool, with the gray wool, you're going to place three blocks going diagonal up to the left. Starting on top of the black wool. So that's one, two, three. Now switch over to the stone block. Starting on top of the gray wool, you're going to place two stone blocks going up. So that's one, two. Now switch back over to the gray wool and place one gray wool in between the black wool and the stone block. So place one there. Now we're going to switch over to the light gray wool. Now with the light gray wool, starting underneath this black wool and next to this stone block, you're going to place three light gray wools going down. That's one, two, three. Let's go back up and switch over to the stone block now starting underneath this black wool and this light gray wool with the stone block you're going to be placing three blocks going down that's one two three and now one block going diagonal down to the right that's one now fill in this empty space here with the stone block And once you've done that, you're going to switch over to the light gray wool and fill in these two empty spaces here with the light gray wool. So fill this and this with the light gray wool. Now we're going to switch back over to the gray wool and let's move to the left just a bit and down and find these three black wools going across. We're going to start on top of the middle block of the three black wools. So starting from there, you're going to be placing three blocks going up with gray wool. So that's one, two, three. Now starting on the left side of the top block of the three gray wool. So from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. Now switch over to the stone block, and you're going to fill in this single space here with the stone block. So fill this in. So it looks like that. So now that we've got that done, we're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, we're going to move to... To this empty gap that we have here in between his clothes and his face, this single space here that goes down gets filled in with black wool. So go ahead and do that now. And remember, you're going to leave those two empty spaces down there empty. So go ahead and fill in this single space here with black wool. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to move down and to the left. And I want you to find this empty space here because we forgot to add some black wool or we just didn't get around to it just yet. So we're going to find this area. If you are still kind of confused where, it's just above these three stone blocks going across. So we're just going to move up here. And I want you to find these two black wools going across here. So they're almost right above it, just going up here. So starting from these two black wools, starting on the left side of it, so starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. Let's, whoops. Okay, let's switch that again. Let's try that one more time. So that's two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. 
And now two blocks going diagonal up to the left. That's one and two. And now you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. That's one, two. And now you're going to be placing three blocks going diagonal up to the left. Three blocks diagonal. So that's one, two, and three. Get rid of those. And it should look like this. So now what you're going to be doing is filling in four empty spaces with black wool. So it's going to be this empty space here. It's going to be the empty spaces that we just created. So this empty space, this empty space, this empty space, and this empty space with black wool. So I'll do it in real time so you can see where I'm placing them. You should do that too. Just fill in those empty spaces. So it looks like this. Now we're going to be switching to the gray wool for this next part. So let's switch over to the gray wool. Let's move over these blocks as well. So switching to the gray wool, let's go back down here to where we started from these two black wools going across. You're going to place two gray wools going across here underneath it. So that's one, two. And now place one gray wool underneath uh, the right block of the two blocks going across. So place one there. Now let's move up, and what you're going to do is essentially hug the outline of the black wool with the gray wool. I'm not sure if I use that term in this pixel art tutorial, but it's a term that I've been using lately. So what you're going to do is just hug the outline of the black wool, of this black wool, with the gray wool until you reach the left side of that black wool. So we're just going to place that gray wool there as a stopping point, and this is what it looks like. You're just going to place... If this is two black wools, you place two gray wools. This is what's called hugging the outline with a different type of blocks. So that's one, that's one, that's two, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one, that's one, and that's one. Should not be too hard at all to understand or follow that. All we did was just hug the outline of that black wool with the gray wool. So it looks like this. Now, starting from that one gray wool, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left. So that's one and two. And it should look like this. So now that we have that, we're going to be switching to the stone block. Now with the stone block, it looks like we have a shadow glitch somewhere around there. Let me see if I can take care of that. Okay, now with the stone block, we're going to be filling in this, these three, actually. It's three areas or three empty spaces and this is this counts one so let's find this one space here this one by itself space and let's fill that in so boom it's filled in now we're only going to fill in two spaces with stone block you're going to be filling in this single space here staying within the black wool outline and the gray wool outline and there's just all sorts of outlines staying within the outline you're going to fill in this with stone and then you're also going to fill in this empty space here with the stone block so do that now and when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to move all the way back up to where we were working on this empty space that's now filled with uh, the gray wool, the stone, and the light gray wool. And we're going to be switching over to the bedrock for this. So let's switch over to the bedrock as well. Now with the bedrock, we're going to move from this space here, we're going to be moving to the left and down a bit until you find these two black wools going across. You're going to place two black or two bedrocks on top of these two black wools, so place two of them going across. And then three bedrocks going across on top of these blocks, so that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. So now that we have that, we're going to move down here, and we're going to switch to the gray wool, because we're going to need the gray wool and the stone block for this. Now this is going to be another time lapse, because this is going to fill in a large area. So, let's start off with the stone block. Let's move over here to the right. As you can see, this empty space here, you're going to fill in this empty space thing within the outline with the stone block. So you're going to fill in this, and then you're going to switch to the gray wool, and you're going to fill in this single empty space here that goes all the way up and then even goes over here to the left. Staying within the outline, you're going to fill in this space here with the gray wool. And again, you're going to fill in this space here with the stone block. 
So do that now. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now we're going to move up here to the left, close to where we were just filling this space here with gray wool. And I want you to find this empty space. Now for this next step, uh, next, <laughs> can't even speak. For this next step, you're going to be needing the gravel and the bedrock. Now with the gravel starting on top of these three black walls, you're going to place three gravels going across. So that's one, two, three with gravel. Switch over to the bedrock, place three bedrocks going across to the right. Or it doesn't really matter which way now. One, two, three. And then place one bedrock on top of the right block of these three bedrocks. So place one there. Switch over to the gravel. Place two gravels on top of these two bedrocks. One, two. Then switch over to the bedrock, starting on top of this black wool. Place two bedrocks going up. That's one and two. And then fill in this space here with bedrock. Switch back over to the gravel, fill in this space here with gravel. Now you're going to switch over to the black wool. Now with the black wool, you're going to fill in this empty space here with black wool. So do that now. So it looks like this. Now for this next part, you're going to be filling in this single empty space here with the black wool. So do that now. Just fill in this single empty space here with the black wool. And when you're done filling it in, it should look like this. So now what we're going to be doing is moving from this empty space that we is no longer empty because we filled it in. We're just going to move straight up and you should come across this one black wall here that's just standing up. That's close to this area. So starting from this one black wall, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the left two blocks going across so again messing up with the stupid gravel let's move these blocks aside so that's one two that's two black walls going across to the uh, to the left i should say to the left now you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the left so that's one and now let's go back to these two gravel or Let's go back to these two black walls. There's a lot of blocks to work with. You can't blame me. So going back to this, uh, to the left block of the two blocks going across. So from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. Now you're going to switch to the stone block and fill in this empty space here with stone. So fill this in. Switch back over to the black wall. Let's move up here to this one block. Starting on top of this one block. With a black wall, place three blocks going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. That's one, two. And now place five black walls going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, from the five black walls that we just placed, starting underneath the middle block, so the middle block of the five blocks going across, so from there, underneath it, place two blocks going down. So that's one and two. It should look like this. So now let's go back over here. Going back to these three black walls going across that started on top of this one block, so going back to these three, starting on top of the left block of the three blocks going across so starting from there you're going to place three blocks going across to the left so that's one two three and now starting underneath the left block so starting from there you're going to place two blocks going across to the left so that's one and two and now place a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one and two, so it should look like that. Now starting underneath the right block of the linked two blocks going across, so starting from there, you're going to place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one and two. 
and now place four blocks going across on the lower level to the left. Four blocks across. So that's one, two, three, four. And now three blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two, three. Now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now starting from the right block of the three blocks going across, so starting from that block, you're going to place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. Now let's go back up here to this one black wall. You're going to switch to the placement block and put a placement block on the right side of that one black wall. Switch to the black wall starting on top of this placement block. You're going to place nine black walls going across. Nine blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks going across. Let's get rid of that. Now let's go back over here, back to the four blocks going across here that are making contact with these three black walls going across. So let's go back to these four blocks. We're going to start from the right block, and starting from the right block, you're going to count two blocks into the left, this being the first block that you count. So this is one, and this is two. Now starting underneath this black wall, so from there, you're going to place three black walls going across to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now starting underneath the right block of the three blocks going across, so from there, place two blocks going across to the left. So that's one, two. And it should look like this so far. Now going back to these three blocks going across here, starting from the right block again, you're going to place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. And now we're going to move back over here. Let's go back to these nine blocks going across to the left. So starting from the left block of the nine, you're going to place seven blocks going across on the lower level to the left. Seven blocks across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the lower level. And now place two sets of twos going across on the lower level to the left. Two sets of twos. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. And now one block going diagonal down to the left. So that's one. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. Now you're going to be placing one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now place one block going diagonal down to the left. And that's one. So now let's go back over here, back to these two black walls going across that we just placed. Switch to the placement block, put a placement block on the right side of that black wall. Switch back to the black wall, starting underneath that placement block, so starting from there. You're going to place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three. And it should look like this. Now, starting from this black wall, so starting from this block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two. And now you're going to place a linked two blocks going across on the lower level to the right. A linked two blocks. So that's one and two. And now place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. Now let's go back over here, back to these two uh, 
uh, these linked two blocks going across. Starting from the left block this time, you're going to be placing four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. That's one, two. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one and two. Get rid of those. And it should look like this so far. So let's go back up here, back to these two blocks going across. Not the linked two blocks, but just these two blocks going across, starting from the right block. You're going to be placing one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. And now you're going to place two sets of twos going across on the upper level to the right. Two sets of twos going across upper level to the right. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. And now that we have this, you're, what you're going to do next is place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right. So that's one, two, three. And now let's go back again to these two blocks that we just started from for, for these three blocks. So starting from the right block again, this time on the lower level, you're going to place four blocks going across on the lower level to the right. So that's one, two, three, four. And now place five blocks going across on the upper level to the right. Five blocks across upper level. One, two, three, four, five. So now let's go back to these four blocks again. Let's go back to these four blocks starting from the left block. So from that block, you're going to place two blocks going across on the lower level to the left. So that's one, two. So I'll fly back a bit so you can see that it should look exactly like this so far. Okay, so now we're going to move down here. So let's move down here to this area. And what I want you to do is going all the way down here, going to the two black holes going diagonal. What you're going to do is fill in this single space here with a black hole. So you just fill this in. Again, remember, this is the outline. We do not go to the invisible outline. So you're just going to fill in that with black wool. And then you're going to switch over to the stone block, and you're going to fill in this space here, and this space here, with stone. So fill those two in. Now switch to the gray wool, and let's move to this black wool here that's making contact with the stone block. Starting from the bottom block of the two blocks going up, so starting from there, on the right side, place two gray wools going across. So that's one and two. And now two blocks going up on the right side. That's one, two. And then one block going diagonal up to the right. And that's one. So it looks like this. Now fill in this empty space here with gray wool. Fill this in. So it looks like this. Now for this next and final step for this tutorial part, we're going to fill in this single empty space here with the black wool. So fill in this empty space here, staying within the black wool outline, of course. It's not too large, so we don't have to time lapse it. And once you're done filling in that empty space with the black wool, it should look like this. So I'm going to pause here and continue my Call of Duty Ghost Minecraft Pixel Art Tutorial Remake in Part 13. Now remember, if you want to request a Pixel Art Tutorial for the future of your favorite anime character, cartoon character, video game character, favorite actor, or singer, or whoever, celebrity, make sure to check out the latest Pawu video and leave your request down below in the comment section of that video. Again, I do not take any Pixel Art request in pixel art tutorial parts, time lapses, or showcases. The only place I take pixel art requests 
are in the latest Pawu video, so make sure you, you check that out. I upload a new one every week. So with all of that being said, make sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.